Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius, thank you for stopping by the den. If it seems like I'm going kind of fast, I am, girl. I'm on limited time. I got to go to the gym and work. So roll with me, baby. Keep up. We are here to talk about the planets. Mars is in the sign of Pisces, and it will be there from March 22nd until April 29th. Check the chart because you could have Sun or Mars in a fire sign, and some messages in here will definitely resonate with you. Thank you to everybody that has been watching, liking, booking, supporting subscribing thank you i really appreciate it my socials are on the screen for your viewing pleasures to book a personal reading with me my pricing and contact information is in the description box down below all the info will be in the pinned comment in the comment section so i'll give you a little bit of overview with what mars and pisces will bring i'm gonna hold your hand when i say this it's like i'm talking to my homeboy or my home girl i appreciate the drive the ambition okay Mars and Pisces is going to have you guys, you know, feeling as though um, you're ready to take certain actions, uh, take actions towards certain desires, wants, needs, fantasies of yours. OK, um, there's a there's a strong emotionally driven energy that you guys need to be aware of during this time. Like I said, moving out of emotion. All right. Now, like I said, I appreciate the drive. I appreciate the ambition. But because we are in eclipse season, because a Mercury retrograde will be taking place during this transit, you know, girl, things can be a little foggy for you. And, you know, Pisces tends to be a little bit flip floppy, a little wishy washy Feel one day today for another way the next day. All right. So please just be careful about moving too fast, moving too slow, not moving at all. Um, yeah, this to me is like, oh, I made a boo-boo. Um, oh, maybe I shouldn't have said that. Maybe I should have said that. Maybe I shouldn't have done that. Maybe I should have done that. That sort of thing going on, okay? We've already pulled some Oracle messages. It seems as though you're going to have the tea. It seems as though you're going to have a little bit of juice in your reading fire sign. So while I was shuffling, I left the bitch on the floor. I'm not picking her up, are you? Hussy Heffa and Jezebel fell out. She is on the floor, right? And look at this. It's like you can't escape the toxicity. You can't escape the toxic motherfuckers. All right. Your overall energy is karmic masculine. So we're either talking about toxic fire sign men. I said it. We're either talking about toxic fire sign men. Okay. Or just a toxic man. We, but there's a toxic man and toxic woman out here. Okay. So don't take offense. Right. And then we have return to sender showing up on the bottom of the day. Now, what I just say a little while ago, there is a Mercury retrograde taking place during this transit. So if we was to be generic, don't let somebody spin the block, bust the UV on you, literally. Okay. Don't let somebody come back around you if they have already shown you their trifling ways. All right. Now, because, you know, whoever this is fell out on the floor, I feel like some of you guys might be going into this transit getting rid of people or you have gotten rid of a toxic individual, whether it be a woman or a man. Some people could be, you know, receiving signs during this transit that it is time for them to get rid of a, a toxic woman or a man. Any sort of relationship. This could be any sort of person to you, right? Let's go, let's go, let's go. Spirit guys. Knight of Pentacles. Now, I'm only going to read this because it flew out and then we got the men here. Okay, King of Wands and the Knight of Pentacles. Fire signs, specifically the guys. I feel like it's very important say, for you to be financially responsible and resourceful during this transit. Use the coupons. Don't go out this weekend if you've got to, you know, move the money about and around. Okay, I don't like being at the register and I'm over here moving money from the PayPal or the Cash App or from the savings account to make, to make the ends meet. That's embarrassing for me. For me, I don't want to be in that predicament. So to avoid that, I don't go out, right? I just won't go out. Or oh, I already, you know, I've already taken care of that. I'm on top of my finances, so I'm not having, you know, let me check the account before I make this purchase. Some of y'all, you need to be in that energy. It's very important for you to be in that energy during this transit. Maybe I don't need to tell you what to do, okay? Or advise you what to do. Some of y'all might already be in this space, okay? So, you guys, what's happening to all fire signs during this Mars and Pisces transit, March 22nd until April 29th in the year 2024? Remember, check your birth charts because you could have Mars and a fire sign as well. And some messages in here would definitely resonate. Don't listen to the dryer in the back. King of Pentacles with the Hierophant. 
Knight of Wands, Ten of Wands, Leo, oops, Seven of Wands, sorry. And Aries, 10 minus 7 equals Twa, okay? Trace. Either this is you to someone or someone to you, fire signs. Um, most of y'all, it looks like it is um, you to someone. Higher fan, nine of wands, ten of wands, and the seven of wands. Um, the more you guys feel spiritually driven, you're um, attaching yourself more to your spirituality with the higher fan card here. Um, ten of wands and the seven of wands and the nine of wands. The more you won't be able to be around or hold on to individuals that with the Ten of Wands just feel like a burden or just got too much shit going on. And with the Knight of Wands, it's like, I want to be free. Y'all heard that commercial? Zoom, zoom. I like the, I like the come and go, right? And, and the stuff that you be doing or be dealing with, it slows me down. Let's just, let's just say this. A lot of you guys are... doing your own thing knight of wands sun card and the page of wands and doing your own thing comes with you needing to be comfortable with not everybody aligning with you that's that's cool that's fine all right They stuck reading them cars. Spirit guys, what's happening to all fire signs during this Mars and Pisces transit? March 22nd mm -mm, until April 29th in 2024. That, that would have been a messy uh, pull. I ain't like that. Two of swords. Left to right, up and down. Vertical, diagonal, horizontal. Which direction? Which choice? Which decision? Which option? That's the two of swords for me. All right? Because we have the King of Pentacles showing up, some of y'all, this is definitely um, regarding an individual. Some of y'all, this is regarding your finances. Six of Swords is showing up. Page of Cups. Um, Knight of Wands, Ten of Wands, and the Seven of Wands came out. Um, some of you guys might feel like you have a higher calling. And it could be something financially that you're tied to or you feel like you're financially obligated uh, to that you're like, you know what? I don't want to be a part of this anymore because it doesn't feel like it, it, it fits me. You know, I like to wear tailored and custom shit. And this doesn't feel like it fits me well, all right? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Temperance and the Ace of Swords. Um, fire signs, a lot of you guys have been experiencing this, especially the Sages. Uh, I've had, I've seen three Sag cards already. Ten of Wands, Nine of Wands, and now we're seeing the Temperance card. Temperance and the Ace of Swords. It's like, some of y'all. I'm just not really, I don't want to say letting loose. It's more like you've been letting go. Whether it be you actually throwing things away, um, letting go of certain, you know, situations, people, like I said, items. Temperance and the Ace of Swords. A lot of you guys have been finding a lot more peace in with the Ace of Swords. Just... I hate the saying, but it's what's coming to mind. Going with the flow. Let me say this. <laughs> Being faithful, okay? That's what the temperance card comes with. You know, temperance for me is, you know, what will be, will be, right? As above, so below type shit. Some of you guys are strong believers, especially with the high fan. You know, everything happens for a reason, right? <laughs> you got a bunch of cliche quotes that you could say. But some of y'all, I feel like, you know, anything that you just don't, you know, feel like you resonate with, with you don't resonate with anymore, uh, people as well, you, you really don't, you know, feel any sort of way about distancing yourself. Tis what it is, right? Some of y'all have done this with family. Some of you guys have done this with love connections. I see somebody here a little bit in their feelings um, because of this. Like, you, you can do me like that. Yes. <laughs> Do you know who I am? Okay, temperance card. Come on, Mo. 
Six of Swords, Page of Cups, The Fool, Ten of Cups, and the Two of Pentacles. And what I don't understand is people be having other situations going on, but you over here taking offense to how I'll treat you. That's crazy. That is how someone here is. That That is how someone here is towards you. Temperance and the Ace of Swords. You cool with cutting them off. You cool with not communicating. You cool with them being over there, you being over here. And with the Six of Swords, Page of Cups, Fool Card, Ten of Cups, and the Two of Pentacles, while well, they might be, you know, this is either, like I said, they're entertaining another situation, they're in another situation. With the Page of Cups here, some of y'all, this is, you know, a, 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 rom a romantic situation, right? It's like they're still curious about what, what, what was that? Because with the Six of Swords, they might go quiet. But with the Ace of Swords, you're like, no, I never knew thee, okay? You've been deleted from the archives. <clears throat> Spirit guys, what's happening to all fire signs during this Mars and Pisces transit? March 22nd until April 29th in 2024. Three of Wands. Hello, Aries. Yeah. Seven of Swords. Let me tell you something. Whatever you do, don't go backwards. And whatever it is, remember what's on the bottom of the deck, return to sender. Fire signs do not go backwards. Three of wands. Wands is what? It's about actions. It's about, uh, you know, doing things, making moves, right? He about, like he going somewhere. He got plans, okay? Some of y'all, even if you're not sure about what the destination is, you know, where you'll end up, you need to be expanding. You need to be trying to get outside your comfort zone. You need to be trying new things. You need to be going new places, putting yourself in new situations. Pen uh, Pinnacles is out here, so this definitely is financial, career, and money related. Look at look at the BS. We got the Seven of Swords. Don't go back. Don't go back. All right. <laughs> And there could be a fear of you moving forward because with the two of swords, it's like, well, I don't know where I'm going or I don't know what, what lies ahead. What I just say a little while ago? Faith. And don't you, don't you, don't you hear something telling you to go that way? Yes, then go that way. Who is this? It can't be Mike Jones. Seven of Swords, King of Cups, Five of Cups, and the Nine of Wands. Yeah, you like, girl, goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> I see there's definitely an air, water, or an earth sign individual who you know. How you mad at me because I treat you like the trash you is? <laughs> That's what I heard. Seven of Swords and the Five of Cups. You do me dirty. I see that you dirty. I don't fuck with you. Simple mathematics. But now you want to be in your feelings. It's Five of Cups and the Nine of Wands. It's almost like because you won't budge. And now I don't want nothing to do with you. And I'm fine with it. You know what I'm hearing? The, the, the God or God got, okay? The thief, the, Adam, run it back, okay? The thief was stolen from type shit. You ain't do that, three of wands, you just moved on. And that really is, is tearing somebody up. They can't handle that sort of rejection. Um, could I tell you who this bees, right? There is strong earth sign energy out here, but I see heavier air and water. I can call the air and the water. Uh, Libra is out here. Actually, maybe I can't call the water. <laughs> There's no water sign cards out here, but I've seen strong water sign energy and strong air sign energy. Spirit so guys, what's happening to all fire signs during this March and during this Mars and Pisces transit? March 22nd until April 29th in 2024. Strength. Leo, hey. I like how you showing up with the Queen of Swords. Faith, we have another spiritual card showing up. So, yeah, like I said, even if you don't know where you're going, what the destination is, where you where you being took, taken, flewed out to, still you still got to take the plane. You still got to take the ticket. You still got to look. And this is in regards to anything, three of wands, anything that you want to, you know, explore, experience, try, do, fire signs. Even if you you feel like you ain't found it yet, that don't mean you don't stop looking. That don't mean that you give up, you know. Or whenever things are, you know, brought to you. Just because you don't know how it's going to turn out don't mean that you don't try it. If three of wands, it can broaden your horizons. 
you know, I don't know how I feel about a certain love connection that some of y'all could be entertaining. I'm just, I'm just saying, lovers tower in the eight of pentacles. Now, some of y'all is a love connection. Some of y'all is a work situation. Let it go. Okay, you already see it's, it's in shambles. The management quitting. It's understaffed. The building falling apart. People getting mugged outside. I mean, it's crazy. Go ahead and let this go, mama or papa. Um, if if some of y'all this is having to do with the person, this is a, I feel like a situation that you kind of already like one foot in, one foot out. Okay, don't make it apply. Don't don't make it fit if it don't. You know, know your size. Anyway, um, but some of y'all, if, if it, there's someone here that you're you know dealing with and you kind of already like I said, one foot in, one foot out. Some days you like them, some days you like <laughs> this motherfucker. You need to really start considering that. Hey. Maybe it's time for you to be up out here. Maybe it's time for me to be strong enough and moving on from this person. Spirit guys, what's happening to all fire signs during this Mars and Pisces transit March 22nd to April 29th in 2024? Three of Swords, Two of Pentacles. Ooh. So we got two and we got three of swords out here, right? If we add that up, that equals five of swords and then it goes with the three of wands. If we combine that with the strength card, sometimes we have to be willing to overlook what other people would think, say um, about us whenever it comes to three of wands, things that we want to do in life. Um, the five of swords for me is external. You know, it can be gossip. It can be... Uh, you know, negative chit chat. It could be a uh, negative self talk. It could be manipulation. It could be gaslighting. Don't let anything steer you away from going forward. Some of y'all might get that from uh, people. Some of y'all might actually get that from individuals to where people be like, nah, you shouldn't try that. That's too crazy. No, nah, you should stay here. Um, you know, it's. It, you know, that, that sort of situation. It could be coming from outside of you or it could be coming from yourself to where you, you know, you kind of houdini in yourself out of your own opportunities. My ears turning red. I feel like they're a little warm. Mm -hmm. Tingling. Spirit guys, what's happening to all fire signs during this Mars in Pisces transit? March 22nd to April 29th in 2020. Four. Judgment. Do the right thing. With the page of pentacles. Mm -hmm. There will be clear indications of what paths. <laughs> Bless me. There will be clear indications of what paths, fire signs, you should not go down. Whether it's regarding your own decisions and moves that you're making or it's regarding you dealing with certain people. And this could be on any sort of level. It could be you doing business with people. It could be you befriending people. It could be you getting involved with people romantically, right? Take your pick. But the strength for me is about confidence. It's about perseverance. It's about resilience. It's a, you know, it, it represents a bunch of different things, especially with the three of wands. This for me, and some of you guys are already in this energy, is like y'all have not let anybody puppeteer you in any sort of way. Um, nobody, uh, what, what's the word I'm looking for? It, it's like... Nobody can say what's going to happen to me. There's only one person that know that. One being that knows that. Nobody um, has stopped my growth. Nobody has stopped my rise. Even though they're having certain situations to where I feel like people have tried. Two plus three equals five of swords. That for me can also, what I'm hearing is foul play. 
being at hand. Some of you guys, I feel like, have taken the high role in certain situations to where you was played with. And whether or not people got dealt with, in whatever way, shape, form, and or fashion, right? People played with you. And with the three of wands, you came out the winner, chicken dinner. You came out, if not on top, I don't want to say that. Should I? It's kind of hard to hear you from first class. Let's keep moving. I don't like the way it's going. But shit, why can't you be that confident? Strength card is out here. Yeah, two plus three equals five. Or six. Yeah, you can talk your shit. Look at, look at me. Ah, uh, it feels so odd. It feels so weird talking your shit from time to time. But because you got a toxic and a, to a toxic man and a toxic woman showing up in your reading, this could be somebody here who had a lot to say about you. But like I said, look at me. You know, like. <sighs> Forgive me. This is not me. This is, you know, my other side. This is Keo Sarah, right? I've been places you haven't been. I've done things you haven't done. I've been in places you will never be able to even step foot in. I'm not saying that. Like I said, that's Keo Sarah. This is an example. Spirit guys, what's happening to all fire signs during this Mars and Pisces transit? Booty up. March 22nd. Yeah, until April 29th. In 2024. Talk your shit then. If I can make that the title of this reading, that's what it would be. Talk your shit then, fire signs. King of Swords in reverse. With the four of pentacles upright. Another individual that's, you know, not really you. Hi, girls. Um, some of you guys have some sort of family event, function, vacation. Uh, coming up, Ten of Cups is out here. This is either you have some, you could be planning or doing um, some sort of like, I'm hearing like reward for yourself. This for me is like you're taking yourself out shopping. You're taking yourself to the spa. You're taking yourself on a trip. Four Pentacles and the Page of Pentacles. Now, you know, I could have just spilled the beans. You could be keeping this low key. Don't nobody know, right? Or this is you just saving money for this during this time. Yeah, I, I, I see that some of you guys either have or have had some, is this the right way of saying it? Dishonorable people around you. And the strength is all about honor. All right? Hold on, spirit guys, especially with the judgment card out here, a lot of y'all believe in right and wrong. A lot of y'all have a strong con moral compass. All right? So, hold on. Spirit guys, <laughs> what's happening to all fire signs during this Mars? Damn. During this Mars and Pisces, I'm going to get it in <laughs> transit. March 22nd to April 29th in the year 2024. This for me is like, I can't litter and not feel bad about it afterwards. <laughs> Depending on where I threw my shit down at. Okay, booty up. Whatever this card is, it came my booty up, so I'm not going to look at it. Page of Swords. All in my shit. With the Page of Wands. Yes. Yes. Damn, this is wild. Um, somebody here feels like you have you have bested them, fire signs. You have defeated them. They feel defeated by you. Is this some sort of competition in their eyes? Or you ain't even looking at them. Excuse me, I told you I can't hear you. I'm in first class. What they are, what they saying over there in the economy? You know, girl coming from a girl who flies economy. Okay, listen, I ain't, I ain't talking down on nobody. All right, but that's what it's it's giving. The energy of someone that I feel like you're not paying attention to, you're not looking at, you're not worried about. And this person is in the opposite of that. They're all of the above. Okay, or fire signs. This is somebody to you and you need to get your shit together. Okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you got the five of wands and then three plus two equals five of swords. Competition. Yeah, somebody here feeling like they in competition with you. And it's like, well, that was your first mistake. <laughs> that was your first, that was your wrong, that was the first wrong decision. Strength card, I'm a sore loser. I don't like to lose. 
For one, two. Who said we was competing? Like that. Hold on. Because I want to get through this. Last card. Spirit guys. <laughs> What's happening in all five signs during this Mars and Pisces uh, transit? March 22nd until April 29th in 2024. Excuse me. Hermit with the Seven of Pentacles. So. So, fire signs, you need to be careful about not being smart. I'm going to be real with you. I'm going to be honest with you. King of Swords is in reverse. That's a dummy. Okay? If not a dummy, it's someone who is capable of being logical, but they're not doing that. I feel like with the Page of Swords, fire signs, you could, you know, see certain ways that you are a fuck up or you're fucking up. And with our judgment in the hermit car, you definitely don't need to go get your feet washed. You definitely need to go through some major changes in life if you want to start, you know, doing better. I don't know if this is financially. I don't know if this is spiritually. I don't know. Like I said, get your shit together. All right. Fire signs. This energy is outside of you. Oh, my God. The, the, the envy and the jealousy is super real, bro. What's the craziest part about it is with the hermit card, you would never know it. You would never, you would never know it. Page of Swords. It's almost like people are in disguise. Like people, you know, what, what, what they say, you know, the enemy calling you bro assist nowadays. The enemy trying to get close to you nowadays. Like a lot of y'all don't know it, but there is a certain intimidation. There's there's something about your energy that is very intimidating and it's just because with the strength card and the three of wands you are someone that is <laughs> you know what i just heard world renowned all right i step into the room niggas looking to see who just walked in right you know how to get you <sighs> it it comes so naturally and people outside some not all some people outside you just can't, can't just can't take it can't handle it um Strong signs that I see out here. Libra, very strong. Aquarius, Scorpio, Virgo. Yeah, girl, I got to get out of here. This was your Mars and Pisces reading. Check the charts, sun or Mars and fire sign. Like the video, subscribe to the channel.